We left Valinor, our home, and journeyed to a distant realm. One filled with untold perils and strange creatures beyond count. Okay. You know, J.R.R. Tolkien has actually left a very great legacy behind, giving us the Hobbit and then Lord of the Rings. Actually, from his book, where you know, creative directors were able to put together this, you know, solid film win. Well, it's it's never going to be lost and all that. Now, having the Hobbit be released 2012 to 2014 with three parts actually set as a prequel to the Lord of the Rings you know film series from 2001 to 2003 we had the first part being the fellowship of the ring the second part being the two towers and then the third part being the return of the king so these these, these film series were actually set in the Lord of the Rings actually was released before the Hobbit release but then as a prequel to it you, you actually get the whole history behind the Lord of the Rings film series. Now this year we had a big announcement of the Lord of the Rings, Rings of Power, which is actually an Amazon Prime, you know, film series, which, which is set about the Lord of the Rings. But then, well, there have been a whole lot of changes and then, well, I feel like the, the storyline for the original film series of the Lord of the Rings by J.R.R. Tolkien is actually not being followed since, you know, there are a whole lot of new things which have been included here. First off, to talk about the characters who have also appeared into this year's Lord of the Rings, Rings of Power film series. Now, when we talk of Elrond, you know, Elrond in the original film series was actually, you know, not quite the open type to me. It was quite straightforward and then, you know, he, he was so high above himself in whichever standard that he puts himself but then to look at the Aaron from this year's Lord of the Ring film series we could actually see he's more of the open kind and then you know well I wasn't expecting an Aaron of, of that kind you know I was expecting the same old Aaron we had you know from the original film series but then well we have a new Aaron appearing here and then well that doesn't discard the fact that Aaron is actually being put into good use here now Galadriel you know Galadriel in the original Lord of the Rings you know series was actually a source of let me say a calm nature she was so much into spirituality and all that per my view but then here she is a warrior to be precise well given that sort of road to Galadriel has actually been a, a very huge improvement for me and then well I feel like it's it's a great chance for Galadriel to be to be seen more than the previous you know Lord of the Rings movies actually from from the hobbit right down to the lord of the rings galadriel wasn't you know sort of open and then order but then here she's given a lead role which is actually going to make her character very predominant and then you know very very exposed now lord of the rings always known we've always had a villain to be sauron so sauron you know had had always been the villain here and then from the start of the movie you we could actually of the of the new series we could actually get to know the fact that you know sauron was still the enemy to the whole you know all the races here we still have the, these four races we have the humans the dwarves the elves and then the half foot you know but in the original series half foots were actually replaced by hobbits well still the same the same set of people and then sauron is still the the, the enemy of all these people here they actually go into a, a war with him and then his followers many many years ago and then you know after a defeat well they finally feel like they are living in that era of peace which actually could live up to a very very great expectation for them living in that kind of you know peace for for that long time was actually well the best thing they could ever expect now suddenly you know there are troll attacks again orcs orcs have actually you know come back again you know from from the original film series orcs were actually seen as the followers of sauron well basically they they you know try to gain power over all the other races and then yeah they've they've tried in many 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 ways but then well they always end up being defeated but here lies the case that orcs orcs one way or the other come back in the in the scene and to to actually clarify galadriel's you know thoughts that the enemy their long fought enemy sauron is still out there and then 
basically that isn't the end for them to, uh, to be done with that well it's a very good improvement from from the first episode of this series we could actually find out that galadriel's adventure to actually get to to the depth of of their long enemy to prove to the whole people the elven people that their enemy is still out there and then not lost was actually a good one fighting an ice throw and then all that you know was excellent she she not willingly going into their their holiest place was was quite a very good improvement and then you know it took that so in the original lord of the Rings series actually a whole lot of characters like frodo and sam and then all these people were 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 lost in this film series we could actually have new characters uprising we could actually have theo from who is the man actually coming up galadriel who is also an elf coming up we, we also have nori who is a half foot coming up and then all that and then you know prince during who is the dwarf king also showing up well a whole lot of character improvements while well, taking a little bit of a different dimension but then it is to the best now with the second episode moving in we have a man falling from the sky bang now this was sort of well i i for instance when i saw it falling from the sky wall i i thought the enemy had arrived but then so far we hadn't seen enemy that that sort of man you know nori describes as a giant we haven't seen him you know creating some sort of you know attention to cause him to be an enemy of of the many but then well it has actually been a very great improvement you know this particular series is is sort of more an adventure for a whole number of people with the original film series although we had different links from other sides you know from the humans from the elves and trolls coming together well they were all you know brought together to follow a set course here there is also a set course for each one but then the specific characters being pointed out from all these different dimensions and races coming together to make it concrete we don't have it like the original lord of the ring film series where we have them all you know just because of the distraction of the race they come together but then each 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 of these characters have their specific roles and they have their specific stories that they are living into which is actually a beautiful thing that they've done well one one thing i found very not you know so tight for me was the fact that galadra was able to swim for a long time when she left her her crew you know abandoning them and then you know trying to do what she felt was right well i was thinking if if elves at a certain point in their life get to this mature state that they don't age damp and they are able to live for that long you know which is basically the elven way well swimming that lens well it brought in mind the picture of beowulf you know who was able to swim across and then you know defeating monsters and then here they've brought a whole lot of compact monsters unlike the previous ones where we just have the normal orc i mean with their normal monsters and then you know all that but then well it's it has made it much much more adventurous than the previous one and then well i pretty much believe that it is going to be an excellent series as time goes on two episodes are out already well and then this is my general impression about it let me know what you also think about it if you haven't watched it you should watch it out for yourself and then let me know what you think about it down in the comment section don't forget to subscribe if you haven't like comment and share it so i've always liked to play with fire